Hi kids! Today I'm going to teach you the discovery of America. After Christopher Columbus read the travel of Marco Polo, he felt that he could reach the West Indies by traveling west across the ocean instead of heading east over land. He first approached the Portuguese who felt correctly that his calculation to reach Asia by traveling west were inaccurate. Okay, good morning class. Okay, uh, welcome to the history lesson. Okay, today we will talk about the discovery of America. Once upon a time, 3,000 years ago, there is a man called Columbus. Okay, good morning students. Okay, now today we will have the history lesson talking about the discovery of America. But don't worry, I won't talk too much. I will let you watch a video first. After you watch, finish watching the video, I want you to think about these two questions. Okay, and I will ask you three to have a group discussion. I will give you 10 minutes time to discuss these two questions. Okay, so let's watch the video. Okay, I think that you enjoy the video, okay? Now I'll give you 10 minutes time to discuss these two videos, okay? Now, Stella, I, I will choose you to answer the first one, okay? Okay, okay let's discuss. Pass, okay, so I think that you have the conclusion. Okay, okay, Stella, answer the first one. What do you think of Columbus? Okay, um, I think he opened up whole new um, continents to the Europe and um, instigated Europe colonization of the new world, and um, the legacy of which is still clear to see today. And I also think he is brave. Um, he is forward thinking and determined, and he refused to let anyone get in the way of what he deemed to be important. Hi, this is Stella. And although the photo story was really extremely time consuming, and Sarah and I was really frustrating trying to save the documents properly, um, I kind of enjoyed this assignment. Um, I think photo story is an amazing tool to use to convey aspects of ourselves and others as well as, as the world. And from the endless options you can Google to complete acts of uh, importing pictures from your personal computer, um, photo story is awesome. In addition, it is interesting to know that PowerPoint slides uh, can be saved as JPEG files and then import, uh, imported to photo story just like a picture. And I think it can enhance the classroom teaching style by creating visuals or giving students an opportunity to teach research topic um, involving students in this type of project motivates them to learn and think critically and creatively. And also, um, I think photo story can be an excellent tool uh, within the classroom because um, a material can be presented using a, a variety of media it has shown that students easily remember material um, when presented in rhythm or when music is involved. So photo story is simple to use and adding the music is a lot of fun. Um, the use of this program could make some really memorable moments for those students and it is a great idea for project and presentation or introducing new materials. That's all, thank you. 
Hi, I'm Sarah. When Stella and me in making the course we are on history of America by using photo story story, I think it's a bit boring and it's not that convenient to use. First of all, the form that pictures move is so boring because they can't move in track in a track from one place to another place, I mean a curved track. Secondly, only the volume of background music can be turned. Uh, the volume of our voice is adjustable. Thirdly, because we can't, we can't add the subtitles of our voice, the education effect may not be that good if people cannot hear the voice clearly. Finally, photo story is not an online software. It is not convenient to use, especially for MacBook, because it is only available in the Windows system. That's all. Okay, thank you everyone. I'm Jackie. Well, to conclude this project, we think that Photo Story actually is not a very good software for producing such of, uh, such of the video. So we recommend another kind of software. For example, we can use the iMovie in the Mapbook system or the Windows Movie Maker in the Windows system. That system. Why? Because the Photo Story can only import the photo, but not the video. It will reduce the flexibility of making the video. Uh, making the photo story interesting. So by using another kind of software, we can use the video plus other uh, animation to make it more uh, interesting and uh, the student can be easily motivated. So this is our conclusion. Thank you.